You're watching 13 on your side. Well, now that many of us are starting to get vaccinated, the big question is, why do I still need to wear a mask and why do I still need a social distance? Well, here to answer some of your questions is Dr. Liam Sullivan, an infectious disease specialist with Spectrum Health. And one of the big ones is the fact that even though you have the vaccine, it might be protecting you inside, but not necessarily your nose where you can transmit the virus still. Yeah, so even though you get vaccinated and your body generates an immune response to it and protects you from systemic symptoms, there's still, in theory, the virus, once it, once it invades your, um, uh, your, your nasal tract, which is where it's transmitted, it could have some low level of replication going on there before your, your immune response fully kicks in and eliminates the virus from your body. So that's the theory. In theory, you probably could still potentially transmit the virus, although it's probably gonna be a much briefer period of time than it would be if you were not immunized to the vaccination or with vaccination. So we really don't know at this time, like how long that period of time lasts where you potentially could transmit the virus uh, to other people. So for now, wearing a mask is still very wise to do. Plus there's still a lot of people out there who are not immunized because we're nowhere near herd immunity at this point in time. And that brings me to my second question. Um, at first, we were hoping for 70% for herd immunity, but now because of these variants, are we hoping for something higher, like 90%? Yeah, it's probably going to take a, take a higher percentage of people to be vaccinated before we have herd immunity because these variants, uh, the the B one one seven one from the UK, which is starting to circulate in the United States quite a bit. Um, it's more transmissible, meaning it attaches onto cells qu faster and, and tighter, and therefore it's, it causes, it's easier for the virus to cause infection in people. So because of that, you know, it can spread a lot faster. So we're going to need more people immunized before we get to full herd immunity and stop the spread of the virus. So we're probably looking at having to social distance and mass, maybe even through summertime as, as, as soon as we get everybody vaccinated. Yeah, you know, it depends. It's going to depend on a couple of things. Number one, vaccine supply obviously is a big deal, you know, because right now we're having a little bit of supply issue, but I would anticipate that'll catch up at some point in time. And then the other one is is people willing to get vaccinated, you know, and I think those two things are going to be the, the factors. And I think if the supply issues improve, which they probably will, and then people are um, willing to get vaccinated, the sooner the better, you know, and then probably summer, fall sometime, that's an open-ended question, but it remains to be seen. But I think it's suffice to say for at least the near near term, masks and social distancing are gonna be necessary um, in the near term here. All right, well, thank you so much, Dr. Sullivan, for shedding some light on why we do still need to wear the mask and still need to social distance at this point. If you would like more information on the COVID-19 vaccine or COVID-19, I've got that for you on 13onyourside.com.